graduates, parents, families, faculty, friends, and guests. As principal, it is my honor to declare open the 92nd commencement ceremony of the Bronx High School of Science. I am delighted to introduce Russell Ahiamadi, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. He has served as the secretary for the Boss Club, has been a big part of the GYLT Club, and will be attending NYU this fall. Hey guys, let's all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Russell. I am very happy to introduce Suzuni Montag, who will lead us in the singing of the Star Spangled Banner. Suzuni has served as Director of Sing as well as a member of the SO Cabinet, Senior Council, and the National Honor Society. She will be attending Tufts University in the fall. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the Suzuni. I am now very pleased to introduce our salutatorian Lily O'Sullivan, who has a GPA of 97.55. She served as head of programming for the Iron Maidens robotics team, volunteered as a tutor for low-income students every week, and published a paper based on her neuroscience research at Harvard Medical School. In the fall, she will be attending Yale University. Hello to everyone watching. I am so honored and excited to welcome you to this graduation as your salutatorian. Recently, I've been reflecting on my experience at Bronx Science. I think that I am struggling, like many of you may be as well, to find closure in my past four years. I see the school in small memories, but I'm trying to piece together what my time at Bronx Science has meant as a whole and how it's informed the person I'm gonna go on to be. For me, it's been useful to look to the past. I've been avidly reading profiles of our alumni. Although the demographics at Bronx Science have constantly changed, it's always been remarkable and that it's a school where gifted first-generation Americans, regardless of their backgrounds, can get an incredible education and launch themselves into success. Many of our alumni have lived through unprecedented global events, just like we are now. I see all of us in their stories. Although our alumni span across every field, populating courtrooms, congressional meetings, and laboratories, I thought it was incredible how most of them actually credited Bronx Science with a lot of their success. They described how Bronx Science was an early on turning point for them. It was even the place where they felt most challenged throughout their career. One quote stuck with me in particular by an alumni named Dr. Wanda Austin, who graduated in 1971. She said, you have to recognize that just being at Bronx Science makes you a leader. It makes you stand out in a group it means that you have skills and capabilities that other people at your age don't have. I don't think anybody could have said it better. Going to Bronx Science is a unique experience. It's different than every other school, even those of a similar caliber, because going to Bronx Science means that you, in some form or another, are going to become a leader. We carry a legacy of leadership with us. And with that legacy, 
We also carry the intense responsibilities of making the world a more just and a more socially conscious place. I think it's easy to forget how lucky we were to go to a specialized high school. At Bronx Science, no matter what backgrounds we came from or hardships we faced, we were all given the platform to shine. We had teachers who cared about us and guidance counselors who poured hours into helping us with the college process. However, there are hundreds of thousands of kids in our city who didn't even make it to that platform, much as we're given the chance to succeed on that platform. And in more cases than not, it wasn't because they weren't smart or deserving. It's simply because of sheer luck. Wherever you go, I ask you to not forget about these kids or anyone like them. As a leader, you have the power to change unjust systems, even with small individual actions. The best leaders don't stop at their own successes. They bring others up with them. They make broken, unfair systems into meritocracies. So for every table that you find yourself sitting at, pull up a chair for somebody who had less opportunities. For every door or grand archway you find yourself walking underneath, leave the path underneath your feet a little smoother for somebody else to walk on. Not only are we as Bronx Science alumni tasked with making our communities into more equal playing fields, but I believe our whole generation has the potential to reform the world into a more humane place. And as leaders of that generation, we have the responsibility to bring that social consciousness into every single space that we enter. Activists are not the only ones who should be pushing for climate justice or gender equality. Scientists, engineers, and business people should be designing environmentally conscious products, hiring a diverse workforce with a wide range of experiences, and employing business and scientific practices that elevate the communities around them, rather than preying on the marginalized for profit or for fame. No matter what profession you go into, humans will be involved and humans will be affected. And I implore you to see the humanity in everything that you do. We are the most exponentially diverse and open-minded generation that the country or the globe has ever seen. And we can go on to create a more equitable world for everyone. Leadership seems to be an inevitability for Bronx Science students, but it's how you lead it's the seemingly little decisions that you make in committees and in boardrooms that will really determine the impact that you have. I am so infinitely proud to have been your classmate. I cannot wait to see what you all go on to do. Thank you. Thank you, Lily. Congratulations, class of 2020. This is a graduation unlike any other in the history of Bronx science a virtual graduation in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. During the last four years, we have learned so much. We have made lasting memories and friendships, and we have faced challenges together. Because of the pandemic, we had to leave our school building and recreate our community online. We have been learning new ways of teaching and connecting with each other. It has been quite the adventure. But we also know that many of us have faced difficulties in our families with illness, unemployment, various other struggles, and perhaps the loss of a loved one. Let's take a moment to remember those in our families and the over 100,000 in our nation who have been lost because of COVID-19. The recent murder of George Floyd at the hands of a police officer has brought to a head the systemic racism so prevalent in this country. This has been a deeply emotional time for all of us and particularly so for the black community. We hope for and commit to work toward an end to racism and other forms of oppression. Let us now take another moment of silence to remember Mr. Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and other recent victims of racial violence. A year and a half ago, our class of 2020 also lost a beloved member, Rosanna Fu. Our students have prepared a brief video in her memory, which will be shown a little later in the ceremony. The last four years have not just been facing challenges though. It has been four years of accomplishments and celebrations. Let me share a few highlights with you. You have distinguished yourselves in so many ways. For example, 
Your class had 42 National Merit Scholarship semifinals, 11 National Merit winners, and 24 scholars in the National Hispanic Recognition Program. Your research projects were recognized nationwide, including having 11 Regeneron STS scholars and one Regeneron STS finalist, as well as 44 JSHS semifinalists and four JSHS finalists and three JSHS national delegates and 21 NICEF finalists. You have shown yourselves to be activists by your participation and leadership in the citywide student climate march. You excelled in many other areas as well. Bronx Science Speech and Debate seniors qualified nine competitors at the 2020 National High School Tournament of Champions, while also winning many other prestigious tournaments. The robotics teams advanced to world championships in the past three years and Science Olympiad advanced to states the past two years. You have been semifinalists in moot court and mock trial. Our Model UN was the best large delegation at Johns Hopkins Model UN and they have won so many gavels and other accolades throughout the year. Math team has also won numerous awards. And you have produced our many award-winning student publications including Science Survey, Observatory, Dynamo, and Department Journals. You had a lot of fun participating in more than 70 clubs, over 40 sports teams, student government, the full musical, Bye Bye Birdie, dressing up for Halloween, the winter concert, sing, our first Zoom play, Almost Maine, and all the online games, movie nights, and activities. Plus, of course, Wolverine TV, including many special quarantine additions. You also excelled in athletics, winning three PSAL city championships, girls volleyball, boys cross country, and girls table tennis, as well as many borough championships. I hope you take the following with you as you begin your adult lives. First, an appreciation for the scientific method, the importance of looking at all the data and drawing valid conclusions and of continuing to ask questions and think critically. Second, empathy for others, for those who are like you and those who differ from you, for those you agree with and those you don't, and especially for those who are in worse circumstances than yourself. And third, the knowledge that what you do and how you treat each other matters. It really matters. If you keep these three things in mind, a rational approach, an empathetic attitude, and knowing that what you do matters, you can make the world a better place. You can confront racism when you witness it in society or on social media. You can fight climate change by actions such as recycling or adjusting the thermostat. You can teach a child how to read or help a classmate with their studies. You can vote for our leaders, you might become activists for particular causes. You might make a new discovery or invention. You might become a doctor or a teacher or a counselor or a business leader. You might become a mayor or a governor or the president. As you go off to college and careers, developing expertise in different areas, you will meet more people and have more opportunities to influence your worlds. I have faith that you will make that influence a positive one. We are depending on you to do so. I wish you all the best. Please remember you're always part of our Bronx Science family and I hope to see you in the years to come. Congratulations, class of 2020. It is now my pleasure to introduce our senior class advisor, Mr. Daniel McNichol. Graduates of the class of 2020, your classmate and sage Adam Murray has said, when you graduate high school, you've basically graduated childhood. If you're adults now, what does that mean? And what must you do? You must be better than you are. Each of you is remarkable, capable, and bright. Each of you has learned and grown during your time at Bronx Science. And each of you has within you the capacity for further growth. Keep learning, keep reading, be willing to change your mind and take care of each other. Congratulations and good luck. I am proud of you. I would now like to introduce Anthony Bonavita, 
our student organization president who will introduce our keynote speaker. Anthony has served as SO president and a member of cabinet, model UN secretary, revived the Italian club and was a big sib. He will be attending the George Washington University in the fall. Teachers, faculty, parents, and esteemed students, I hope you're all staying healthy and staying safe during this pandemic and this unprecedented time in history. Dr. Wanda Austin was born in the Bronx and after graduating from Bronx Science, attended and graduated from Franklin and Marshall College, the University of Pittsburgh, and received her PhD in Systems Engineering at the University of Southern California. During this time, she worked at both the Rockwell International Manufacturing Company in the aerospace industry and later the Aerospace Corporation. There she worked on satellite communication and security space programs, and at the same time raised two sons and attended school. Her work at aerospace ranged from various fields and various positions, notably the senior vice president uh, on engineering and technology, the senior vice president on aerospace's national systems group, and finally, the first female and African-American CEO in 2008. In 2009, not only did she serve on President Obama's Augustine Commission for studying human spaceflight, but she was also appointed to the U.S. Department of Defense's Defense Science Board and served as a member of NASA's Advisory Council and the U.S. Human Space Flight Plans Committee. In 2015, she served on President Obama's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology, and she is a member of the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronomics, a counselor on the National Academy of Engineering, and a member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. In 2018, after being a trustee for USC, she was appointed to interim president for the rest of the academic year. She is an award-winning engineer and a pioneer in the scientific field, receiving awards such as the National Intelligence Medallion for Meritorious Service, the Air Force Scroll of Achievement, the National Reconnaissance Office Gold Medal, the Bob Hope Distinguished Citizen Award, and a USC, an Honorary Doctorate, a Distinguished Alumni Award, and the Presidential Medallion. Her journey through life and science has been so inventive and inspirational, and it is my honor to introduce her now, Dr. Wanda Austin. Principal Donahue, distinguished faculty, staff, family, parents, friends, and of course, the 2020 graduates of Bronx High School of Science. It is with great pride that I have the opportunity to provide the address for this, the 92nd commencement for the Bronx High School of Science, a phenomenal, phenomenal institution. It's hard for me to believe that 49 years ago, I sat where you're sitting today. I was graduating. I had no idea what would come next, and I certainly did not have a full appreciation for the value of my diploma. A commencement marks a culmination as well as an inauguration. You're completing one chapter of your lives and beginning the next. Many of your parents are experiencing a contradictory sense of time today. On the one hand, they have been anticipating this day for years. And on the other, they're having a hard time understanding how, in the blink of an eye, you have transformed from an adorable toddler into a mature young adult who's ready to change the world. Your hardworking and dedicated teachers are both exhausted and exhilarated today, and they are filled with hope and confidence as they watch you move on to the next phase of your life. Without a doubt, everyone has a cause for celebration. Today marks a major milestone in your life it is a launch pad for each of you, and you are ready to lift off for the next adventure that lies ahead. I am confident that all of you will soar to great achievement as you fulfill your own personal and professional missions. I want to lend my voice to the choir of all the other people in your life 
who commend and congratulate you, all 751 of you, on your great accomplishment. While you are proud, as you should be, you must also remember that you did not get here alone. Please take a few moments sometime today to praise and thank your parents, your siblings, family and friends who helped fuel your inspiration, who provided moral support and encouragement to help you get here today. There's been some discussion about who are our heroes, given all that has gone on recently. I suspect that many parents in the audience have a new and greater appreciation for our teachers and staff members in all that they do. So students, please also acknowledge these heroes for their expertise, commitment, leadership, and patience in ensuring your success throughout your high school journey. There are serious challenges facing both our country and the world today, and we need serious, innovative leaders to address those challenges. Graduates, this is your time to shine. There have always been challenges, and there will always be challenges. The variable is how we choose to respond. This country has faced pandemics, depressions, recessions, and wars in the past. Knowledge and discovery are accelerating at a rapid rate. Industries that have dominated for decades are being disrupted on a daily basis. Traditions that have lasted for ages are being swept away by swift currents of change. In each instance, our leaders at every level have had to turn a stumbling block into a stepping stone. It is now your turn to do the same thing. Let me share a little bit about my personal story. I grew up in the projects in the Bronx. I entered Bronx Science in 1968. I didn't have role models of African-American scientists, engineers, business owners, or politicians. Not because they didn't exist, but because they were very, very rare. And remember, this was well before the internet. No one from my community said to me, you should work towards becoming a CEO of a national research and development center. But there was Bronx Science, a public school that provided a path out of the projects. The faculty and staff at Bronx Science made me feel that there was no limits to what I could do. They made sure I had the tools and experiences to compete successfully with the best of the best. I debated about what I should wear today, my cap and gown or my lab coat. I wanted to wear the lab coat because my experience in the lab changed my life. I'm confident that were it not for the classes and labs that I had in high school, my career path would have been very different. I could not have participated in the development of space satellites and launch vehicles. I could not have participated in science advisory boards. And I would not have served as the interim president of a private prestigious university. I wanted to wear the lab coat as a visual reminder to you that you have the tools that you need to chart your own trajectory. However, given that Corona has taken away the proms and the parties and the senior trips, I thought that it would be best if I dressed with a little pomp and circumstance. In an era of continuous transformation, this ceremony is virtually an enduring rite of passage. It reminds us that learning is the foundation of a life filled with purpose and meaning. The challenges that we face today from many arenas, be they economic, health, cultural, political, and technical. Many people see these challenges as problems, as barriers to our future. That's not how I see them. 
I see them as a potential source of awe, of wonderment, and opportunities for accomplishment. They present the opportunity to inquire, to discover, to innovate, to create, and to excel in order to improve the world. These challenges highlight a need for our best and brightest to embrace those challenges and be the inclusive leaders of the future. We need you in all fields of endeavor and in every specialty. Your opportunities are unbounded. There are many things that make you unique, but the fact that your education in the STEM fields is best of class means your contributions Whatever they will be, they will strengthen America's ability to compete on the world stage. We have a lot of options open to you, and I truly believe that you should discover what excites you and follow that path. I'd like to end my commencement message with my top five most important pieces of practical advice for Bronx science graduates. Number five. Give back more than you receive. Leave things better than you found them. Number four, learn to listen twice as much as you talk. You may be the smartest person in the room, but you can still learn from others. Number three, think globally. What happens on the other side of the world will soon be in your backyard. Number two, do what you love. Find your passion and your voice. And number one, keep learning. Things are always going to change. Don't focus on the door that's closing. Look around to find the three new doors that are opening. Today is a day for celebration, but starting tomorrow, it is a whole new beginning. Whatever choices you make, stay connected to your passions, dreams, and your beliefs. Don't ever let them go. Make facts and science the foundation of your knowledge base and the formation of your decisions. You're not thinking about your grandchildren today, but as you go through life, make decisions that will be beneficial to them and will make them proud. I have great confidence that as you stride forward into your future, you will undertake to solve some of society's most pressing issues, no matter where they may be found. I'm very optimistic and encouraged that you will be the leaders, innovators, educators, and sources of inspiration for tomorrow. You're empowered to be exactly the person you want to be. Graduates, of the Bronx High School of Science class of 2020. Fellow alums, I salute you, and I thank you for allowing me to be a part of your graduation ceremony today. Thank you so much, Dr. Austin. It is now my great pleasure to introduce our valedictorian, Zoe Cooper. She's a grade point average of 99.04. Zoe has captained the girls' cross country, indoor track, and outdoor track teams has been a member of the Congressional Debate Team and has worked as a big SIP. She will be attending Harvard University in the fall. In physics, we learn that all time is relative, that it can vary based on your speed and position. In English, we debate whether time is just a social construct that only exists in our minds. And at Bronx Science, a place where bells ring every 41 minutes, I've come to know both of these ideas to be true. We've all had days where we sit in seventh period, watching the clock inch towards 124, the time when we can finally get up and breathe for a minute before we do it again. We've all had weeks where we wanted to jump forward in time, past that dreaded math mid-year or history paper, to move beyond the SAT or even entire chunks of senior year fall. There are times when time itself seems to stand still. But now, looking back, I wonder where time went. Because it wasn't so long ago when I was a scared freshman who got yelled at for sitting at the senior benches. 
not so long ago when I still couldn't figure out the right way to swipe in my ID or when I got lost on the way to biology class. And it seems like only yesterday when it took me 25 minutes to gather the courage to order a quesadilla from Jay's. Although to be fair, even as a senior, it still took me that long. I think it's normal for seniors to think about the concept of time during their final months of high school. It's normal to reminisce about favorite teachers, memorable train rides, embarrassing moments, as we watch our last days at this school slowly slip away. But this year is not a normal year. There's no prom dress shopping, no signing of yearbooks during lunch, no walking across the stage at graduation. There are no in-person conversations and there is no school. Thinking about all the big moments we're missing makes me wonder whether I appreciated the small moments we did get, whether I wasted too much time willing it to move faster. Something else I've been doing a lot recently is re-watching all the shows I loved when I was younger. For me, this is Glee and Gilmore Girls. These were the shows that shaped my first perceptions of what high school was like. Looking back, I realized how bad of a job they really did. I came to Bronx Science picturing a world of cheerleaders and football players and cliques. Not a school where the most popular teams are debate and robotics. Middle school me envisioned dances and decorated ballrooms with confetti falling everywhere. Not ones in a high school cafeteria while kids who can't really sing try their hands at karaoke. I anticipated elaborate photo shoots and not a school where the best places to take pictures are stairwells and bathroom mirrors. But after four years, I think I got the better deal because I would never trade this three-story building with its non-existent pool on the non-existent fourth floor for all the glamor of those TV worlds. And even now, when we don't have the building at all, we still have what was inside. I still have teachers who love their subjects and make me love it too. Teachers who know their students so well, they could name my two cats. I still have friends who will cry with me when things are hard. Friends who can make me laugh until I feel like I can't stop. With 750 kids in a grade, it's impossible to know everyone. Some of you have never heard me talk before now, and now I'm on a screen. So I can't speak to everyone's experience. But I do know that all of you have shaped mine. So thank you to all the students, teachers, and families for getting us to this moment. And I know that everyone watching feels the same way. I've talked a lot about the past. I want to finish by talking about the future. The future is always scary. It has no clear path and no clear finish. It's not organized into neat 41 minute blocks. But the particular future that the class of 2020 is entering is even more unpredictable. We're graduating into a world where this pandemic has torn apart families and communities, including ours. A world where repeated police violence against Black Americans has laid bare the deep-rooted racial inequities facing our society. We're entering a time where environmental threats have shown us how limited time really is. But that just means we have to do more. We have to do more with our time. And I think that if anyone can do it, it's us because we are prepared. We've been preparing for four years, both in class and out, because we are talented and we are tough, because we have experienced hardships and we know we can persevere. In physics, we learn that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. But with all due respect to Sir Isaac Newton, I think that the Bronx Science class of 2020 will prove him wrong. Our response will be, and must be, not equal to, but greater than the challenges we face. And we'll do it together. Thank you all, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you, Zoe. Mr. Andrew Nasser, Assistant Principal of the Guidance Department, will now present the graduates. Thank you, Dr. Donahue. Rosanna Fu was an adored member of the class of 2020. 
While she may not be here with us today, her memory will live on in each of our hearts forever. Her close friends put together the following video in her honor. Rosanna, we love you, we miss you, and you will forever be a Bronx Science Wolverine. That was a moving tribute. Dr. Donahue, I am pleased to present to you the candidates for graduation from the class of 2020. Not only have the candidates met the requirements for graduation as established by New York City and New York State, but they have also met the high standards determined by the faculty of the Bronx High School of Science. They have excelled in academic and extracurricular life. Therefore, I am proud to present them to you to confirm as graduates of the Bronx High School of Science. Hello, my name is Sadia Safa, the official class reader for DO1. Russell Ahiamadi, Shafin Ahmad, Mashrafi Anwar, Christian Bobko, Cindy Kai, Avery Chan, Eric Chen, Christina Chen, Pushpita Dashoy, Felix Gao, Mikhail Gika, Megan Groppi, Harry Hinsman, Maxine Shang, Kai Huey, Zakir Kadwa, Benjamin Kaufman, Roland Lee, Bowen Lee, Chloe Luke, Jale Mahutian, Jonah Massey, Marina Mengwell de Souza, Raven Menom, Suzune Montag, Jeffrey Munsell, Sadia Safa, Famida Shagufa, Wilson Shi. Lauren Su, Albar Yurkananda Subekti, Samson Yang, Matthew Young, Ishad Zaman. Hello, my name is Onyekachima Agu, the official class reader for DL2. Rakeen Abir, Onyekachima Rajian Agu, Tasruba Anwar, Stephen Kai, Darren Chen, Ethan Chen, Michelle Chen, Tenzin Dawa, Noah Ding, Cairo Flamer Caldera, Montserrat Garzon Navarro, Jesse Gilbert Dash Savern, Neelish Gua, 
Joyce Ho, Yuri Hu, Peter Horn, Jerry Kanga, Joseph Kolarsh, Christine Lee, Jenny Lin, Angela M. Liu, Manaswi Mancha, Chaco Mathai, William Mesnick, Zev Minsky Primis, Adam Murray, Denise Rances, Dipto Saha, Syed Saha, Aaron Stillerman, Michael Skripnik, Alex Yu, Munta Zahan, Natasha Zarin. Hello, my name is Alexander Gilson, the official class reader for DO3. Afia Abida, Fahim Ahmed, Afifa Aria, Winston Kai, Felicia Chen, Tiffany Dean, Patrick James Donahoe, Juliet Flesher Giletto, Babu Gay, Alexander John Gilson, Sanjeet Giuliani, Ruby Hoke, Krista Huang, Dion Hussein, Yeju K, William Kong, Elvin Lee, Jeffrey Luo, Anna Meg, Kai McCormick, Najmul Mia, Alexander Mirauti, Elena Morgan, Wyatt S. Morgan, Taylor Mui, Dylan Murugason, Pietro Sire, Nishma Shakya, Nur Rohan Siddiq, Brandon Samosa, Motion Suhan, Kaying Yi, Kitty Yu, Rayan Zena. Hello, my name is Jonathan Munoz, the official class reader for DO4. Celeste Aburjali, Shira Ahmed, Alpha Berry, Emma Bosch, Shuyu Kao, James Chen, Nancy Chen, Mithila Deb, Tong Duan, Arthur Fong, Sydney Gazar, Leanne Goldberg, Tushar Gupta, Eugene Hong, Esther Huang, Brandon Huynh, Fahim Karim, George Kantopoulos, Derek Lin, Brian Liu, Shira Manso, Tanine Mia, Georgiana Mistos, Wesley Mui, Jonathan Munoz, Majabin Musa, Shomik Sakib, Helen Shao, Elias Silver, Maisha Soshi, Eric Suluski, Catherine Urania, Frederick Ye, Pierre Yu. Hello, my name is Pamela Lama, the official class leader for DO5. Juan Acuna, Kieran Og, Alexander Basquiel, Amanda Caras, Janae Chen, Olivia Chen, 
Reedy Debbie, Emily Duggan, Esteban Francis, Eric G, Leo Goodman, Fardeen Hafiz, Samuel Hawk, Florence Wong, Isabella Huen, Rahimul Karim, Jeremiah Ku, Pamal Lama, Layla Lee, Andy Ma, Ryan McGrady, Claudia Misek, Karen Mitsuyama, Alexandra Musad, Niso Natnias, Prabhul Nair, Stanley Sam, Ross Shapiro, Haley Sim, Andrew Sosanov, Natalie Wu, Kiki Yem, Shani Yu, Joseph Zeltson. Hello, my name is Spencer McQuaig, the official class reader for DO6. Jay Advani, Swan Yi Eng, Alamo Baizid, Ryan Caress, Jason Chen, Rachel Chen, Christian De Jesus, Kaya Duda, Amanda Francisco, Eleanor Gagan, Owen Gray, Akib Haider, Rashid Hossein, Jennifer Huang, Sophie Hyde, Ryan Karim, Sophia Corono, Meng Ting Lee, Mark Lim, Luke Macris, Eric Mao, Spencer McQuaig, Miranda Michael, Anas Mazam, Afreen Mustafa, Jean Namgung, Ethan Nanavati, Sabahat Sami, Akash Sharma, Jaden Sinclair, Elias Samaya, Jen Yo, Susie Yu, Jeffrey Zhang. Hello, my name is Pamela Lee, the official class reader for D07. Sahibra Afra, Fitzhugh Anstey, Melos Bakai, Margaret Karras, Ashley Chan, Taylor Chapman, Jason Chen, Serena Chen, Alexandra Deli Ivanov, Om Duda, Blake Frank, Aaron George, Sophie Grayson, Ethan Hall, Sadia Hussein, Karen Huang, Sumika Ijima, Rifat Karim, Saketh Kotajiri, Pamela Lee, Mustafa Mohammed, Insa Na, Amer Narula, Ibn Nasif, Shams Nazrul, Wali Mesa J.I., Julian Ramsharan, Eileen Sanchez, Ilana Siegel, Maria Stamos, Caitlin Liz Young, Hina Zahid, Anna Zhang, Yilan Zhang. Hello, my name is Daniela Castro-Gorset, 
the official class reunion for DO8. Arnav Agarwal. Emtias Alam. Laiba Azam. Lola Berger. Isabel Bernstein. Daniela Castro Garfet. Jeffrey Chen. Wendy Chen. Zhang Feng Deng. Natalia Jelinska. Matias Fernandez Sasso. Victoria Franklin. Gabriel Germo. Davide Halak. Tansina Hossain. Raymond Huang. Isabel Iparraguirre. Oliver Katzelnik. Katarina Kovacevic. Vicky Lee. Sofia Mejeras. Xavier Marriott. Syed Mehron. Sebastian Midura. Cheyenne Mohammed. Alex Nackman. Ikina Nebulisa. Amit Sarkar. Jade Shen. Sanjay Singh. Robert Stansiu. Tasneem Tabasun. Cam Singh Young. Bayad Sakaria. Hello, my name is Sona Marukin, I'm the official class reader for DO9. Emma Victoria, E.B. Sophia Banos, Ruby Berger, Sabrina Bui, Kyle Catry, Cameron Chang, Jenhan Chen, Wilson Chen, Sean D. Palermo, Robert Eisenman, Maya Ghosh, Joshua Greenberg, Molly Hamilton, Tazia Hossein, Zhen Yang Huang, Adnan Islam, Jasmine Kaur, Hashibo Koshek, Zi Chen Li, Mohammed Mahin, Sona Marukin, Jason May, Jacob Mikolajak, Meredith Mock, Will Nakos, Divya Sarma, William Song, Ming Shen, Ethan Sisson, Nicholas Stefanides, Guthrie Tabios, Marisha Toa, G1 SDE, Anav Zaman, Nelson Zhang. Hello, my name is Arona Islam, the official class reader for D10. Sabine Alam, Devon Allen, Tareem Aslam. Ashley Bell, Ben Bergeson, Nusaiba Chakladar, Sangeeta Chakra Bordaki, Kevin Chen, Winston Chen, Anastasia Diakolios, Paul El Gael, Maya Jardina, Lennox Gregoire. Afif Hamim, Taisha Hossein, Gareth Hui, Arona Islam, Aftab Kazi, Haishi Kwong, Flora Liang, Awab Mamoud, Sazida Marzia, George Melisinos, Jerry Miao, Habiba Mim, Medina Manawara, Arif Nahib, Kazi Sazid, 
Kevin Soy. Alea Strasser. Christy Tai. Jane Yu. Atika Zaman. Rebecca Zank. Hello, my name is Nicole Constante, and I'm the official class reader for D11. Mori Aram, Sharir Ahmed Al Hussein, Chang Chen, Yangjun Chen, Caroline Chin, Taim Chowdhury, Nicole Mayerly Constante, Karun E. Longo. Sinchen Fu, Romaine Hernandez, Alexander Wushro, Rizwan Kazi, Lauren Kim, Kadiza T. Kubra, Brian Lai, Harper Learmonth, Song Hee Lee, Timothy Lee. Daniel Liu, Amanda Maglin, Alini Mahero, Ellie Michelle, Nathan Nikwe, Mika Nimkarn, Jahan Okata Harrison, Spencer Pan, Kate Petosa, David Q. Shaquille Taj, Eugene Toth, Saeed Wahid, Jingmei Wong, Sophia Zhang, Richard Zen. Hello, my name is Sawyer Cooper, the official class reader for D12. Isabel Betances, Jason Bonner, Ray Chen, Eugene Chen, Iviana Chimilowski, Shizwana Chowdhury, Sawyer Cooper, Bo Eng, Yazi Fad, Alexis Hernandez, Joy Herrera, Jessica Jimenez, Zakaria Kazmi, Lion Kim, Malik Kulamani, Maggie Lee, Arthur Lee, Jared Len, Nathaniel Lentz, Daniel Liu, Sam Neeson, Seema Neesenbaum, Chukwemeka Okonkwo, Ivan Panov, Anuj Fofelia, Konain Kureshi, Saad Shaw, Dayan Tajwar, Jack Tape, Jackson Traubin, Gavin Walsh, May Wang, David Zhao, Suyan Zhang. Hello, my name is Jeremy Valdez, the official class reader for D13. Syed Alam, Manveer Bandal, Anthony Bonavita, Rusi Biun, Luke Chavez, Cindy Chang, Sky Choi, Cynthia Chu, Zoe Capella Cooper, Gabriella Goddam, Audrey Hill, June Jung, Benson Jin, Madison Kern, Sharon Khan, Michael Kim, Tarnvir Kular, Kenneth Lamb, Benjamin Lee, Eric Liu, Brittany Ng, J. 
Gisilda Noka, Will Olenich, Benjamin Pilosov, Adib Rafi, Ashika Talukter, Ali Tariq, Kinsang Sering, Jeremy Valdez, Gabriel Wan, Nina Wang, Joanna Zhao, William Zhang. Hello, my name is Jun So Lee, the official class reader for D14. Danielle Noel Alabazo, Aisha Badi, Caroline Bradley, Kevin F. Chen, Julia Marilyn Check, Adam Chong, James Chu, Morgan Cabino, David Fan, Ethan Gallagher, Zachary Hine, Jack Jin, Jacob Kerr, The Mima Khan, Philip Kim, Chirag Kumar, Inky Lam, Junso Lee, Justin Lee, Cameron Leo, Janice Liu, Cassandra Ng, Kai Namoto, Darsh Patel, Alexander Plossel, Anika Rahman, Nasif Talukter, Melanie Tejeda Romero, Owen Tumer, Charlie Valencia, Akane Wang, Oscar Wang, Aaron Zeng, Z Zeng. Hello, my name is Bianca Vama, the official class reader for D15. Aryan Ali, Durba Bomik, Thomas Green, Emily Chan, Alexis Chen, Samuel Cheng, Alex Chong, Anil Chong, Brandon Cowett, Kaniz Fatima, Stephanie Galint, Nusrat Islam, Shang Yu Jin, Jamal Kadir, Sarim Katri, Jonathan King, Arthur Guntara Konkiti, Richard Lem, Chloe Lee, Stephen Leo, Darren Ng, Milo Novitz, Daniel Orbach, Annalise Ponce, Ainan Roman, Rafi Tarlukdir, Natalie Tang, Michelle Tang, Bianca Vama, Alan Wang, Renee Wang, Andrew Zhang, Devin Zhao. Hello, my name is Sheikh Jobair, the official class reader of D16. Rishi Amladi, Nuzat Buyan, Jennifer Brown, Athena Chen, Tinlock Chung, Marcus Chung, Haunam Chung, Joel Cuenca Lebanon, Frank Gao, Pratila Islam, Sheikh Jobair, Asaf Khan, Farshad Kondakar, Emily Kitmahawang, Mark Kuo, Star Lam, 
Daniel Lee Kyle Leung Ted Ng Lamisa Nubayat Alexandra Orzel Dachi Patel Rudy Popper Mohammed Rahman Nayu Shimo Alex Tam Shahid Mutabit Kai Turansky Kate Villarde Bernice Wang Susan Wang Andy Zhang Eastland Zhou I'm Mark Jason Amavor, the reader for Class D17. Mark Jason Amavor. Sadea Boyan. Caitlin Chen. Brian Chor. Adib Chowdhury. Joshua Chung. Jing Chioi. Derek Feng. Zilin Gao, Razia Islam, Emery John, Aisha Khan, Sumaya Koshnobish, Milene Klein, Ekaterina Kirchen, Kevin Lama, Gon Lee, Patrick Lee. Mandy Leon, Matthew Ng, Lily O'Sullivan, Tina O, oh. Suba Putwari, Ashin Potidar, Nahian Raman, Ariel Tamayev, Jordan Thomas, Doris Turkle. Miguel Vivar, Caroline Wang, Zhu Ji Wang, Charles Zhang, Catherine Zhou, Ohin S. Zoha. Hello, my name is Sarah Levin, the official class reader for D18. Tajuar Buyan, Christy Bundo. Christopher Chi, Alea Chowdhury, Michael Clerken, Francis Fang, Iman Hawk, Jamie Jacob, Abby Johnson, Eamon Khan, Ashley Kim, Aiden Klein, Josh Cutler, Andy Lee, Gail Lee, Sarah Levin, Jessica Lynn, Jonathan Lynn, Derek Nee, Caroline Odia, Altai Oskan, Tazreen Patwari, Ula Pranavichis, Rahat Rahman, Ethan Tan, Menasha Thomas, Lillian Sanev, Harrison Vogel, Derek Wang, Annie Ejin Wang, Elisa Shah, Ivy Zhang, Raymond Zhao. Hello, my name is Zhang Yang Tang, the official class reader for D19. Aksa Anjum. Julia Binstock. Noah Bushlo. Preston Chang. Vanessa Cha. Anas Chotari. Tan Dao. Elijah Fernandez, Yakum Harwood, Noreen Jahan, Justin Ju, 
for Dean Khan. Lucas Koenig. Isabel Kwan. Rinchen Lama. Ho Young Lee. San Hong Lee. Annabelle Liu. Raymond Lin. Andy Leo. Benjamin Castro. Benjamin Ostriker. Ria Pacheco. Aeon Paul. Danny Prudente. Sadia Rahman. Zhang Yang Tang. Emma Tirsten Nyman. Fayed Udin. Danica Vu. Yi Yang Wei. Jenny Zhang. Yi Chi Zhu. Hello, my name is Catherine Glazey, the official class reader for D20. Rahil Ahmed. Catherine Blasey. Chin Wei Chan. Matthew Chang. Azmin Chowdhury. Saporna Das. Sam Fennard. Ahmed Hassan. Sanford James. Victoria Jung. Jennifer Kim. Sylvie Konigsberg. Harvey Kwong. Suba Waspa. Jehan Lee. Alvin Lee. Vivian Lin. Ryan Luck. Matthew Nielsen. Brendan Ofori. Shmuel Padua. Tenmoy Paul. Tyler Paleo. Lucas Pulsifer. Sajidor Ramon. Jeffrey Rodriguez Jr. Mac Tanner. Kurt Tio. Zareen Adin. Howard Wang. Alexandra Weiss. Tony Shia. Kevin Zhang. Rafid Zia. Hello, my name is Sarah Green, the official class reader for D21. Rakib Ahmed. Jonathan Barone. Darren Chow. Madi Chowdhury. Azalea Danes. Sarah Green. Zachary Hassan. Tahel Jawad. Zaim Khan. Jamie Lee. Jacqueline Liang. Daniel Lin. Ivan Lin. Jinsha Lin. Paige Linzo. Tristan Liu. Jennifer Loeb. Amelia Lord. Tyler Liu. Melody Moulton. Charles Richards. Dante Rivera. Eduardo Rivera. Isaac Rajavinsky. Jovan Roman. Ananya Roy. Roman Shifino. Johanna Sepala. Jitika Sawani. Jake Wellington. Frank Wang. Hector Wilson. Shazad Yamin. Aaron Yan. Hello, my name is Daria Lolos, the official class reader for D22. Brian Ahoneku. Zishana Maud. Amar Barbie. Armand Chaudhary, Nabil Chaudhary, 
Max Friedman, Alexander Jagarl, Jenny Lee, June Lim, Darren Lin, Jeffrey Lin, Allison Liu, Tiffany Liu, Daria Maria Lolos, Alexander Loshonsi, Sajidur Rahman, Akshay Raju, Brian Rodriguez, Rod Rafuharan, Caitlin Rominger, Gidget Rosen, Trisha Roy, Jaden E. Schneider, Brooke Schnitzlein, Maya Schuchert, Jonathan Winnick, Vivian Wong, Abby Wu, Sean Xia, Ivan Shi, Matthew Shi, Mina Yamanaka, Anthony Yang, Ken Yang. My name is Diari Roy, the official class reader for D23. Sarah Axteribi. Devin Labosco. Diari Roy. Ellie Selden. Alexandra Sherman. Nicole Wu. Eva E. Shea. Elaine X. Yu. By virtue of the authority delegated to me, I confer upon you your diploma from the Bronx High School of Science and welcome you to the Fellowship of Bronx Science Alumni. Please move your tassels to the right side of your caps. It is now my pleasure to introduce Shmuel Padwar, Senior Class President, who will lead our students in the recitation of the Graduates Pledge. Shmuel had served as President of Senior Council, co-captain of the City Champion Boys Cross Country Team, and star of the school's morning's announcements and joke of the day. He will be attending Harvard University in the fall. Hi, Bronx Science, and happy birthday, Dad. Please join me in reciting the Graduates Pledge. We, the graduates of the Bronx High School of Science, vow to continue with the spirit of intellectual discovery in all of our academic and professional pursuits. We have learned that academic excellence involves ambition, boldness, and devotion. We vow to not be content merely with the status quo, but to actively work towards making the world a better place, using the insights we have gained over the past four years. We value having learned how to think for ourselves rather than being told what to think by others. Through our scientific training, we have learned the value of data to back up our claims and the ways in which rigorous inquiry can assist in problem solving. Through our training in the humanities, we have learned the value of art, music, and literature as a means of deeply enriching our lives. Having learned at Bronx Science the true meaning of democracy and the core values of our American society, we vow to value other voices and perspectives different from our own. By taking these core values to heart, we will live up to our motto of inquire, discover, and create, and achieve greatness in college and the world beyond. Thank you. Classmates, please join us in singing our school's alma mater.
This brings the commencement exercises of the Bronx High School of Science to a close. Congratulations to all of you.